Good morning and welcome everyone. Um, we're going to do a, a standing sequence, just a nice uh, energetic sequence to uh, start the day. So I want to uh, invite you to uh, come and stand uh, with your feet a bit wider than your hips. Eh? And just take a moment here to uh, have your knees bent slightly. Relax your belly, relax your shoulders, relax your face. And we can just take a moment here to, uh, to tune in with ourselves. Maybe there's any tension that you might be considerate about, but just standing here for a moment. And maybe it's something else. Maybe there's stuff going on that is taking a lot of your energy. So already becoming aware of that might be good to, uh, to deal with it differently. For now, we are going to use our physical body uh, to uh, move through it. So let's bring the hands on top of each other. And on an inhale, we're going to bring the hands wide, but we're gonna take them all the way up. So your legs can be really strong. You can reach up, engage your upper leg muscles, look past your thumbs to the ceiling. And on an exhale, just gently bring your hands down. Let's try and breathe in through the nose, breathing in. Reach up and you can tilt your pelvic. Engage your upper leg muscles and exhale, relax again. And just do it a couple more times. So we inhale, engage those legs, tilt your pelvic, pull your navel in slightly, look up and exhale, release and relax everything else. One more time, breathe in. And on the next exhale, we're going to gently roll forward. You can just bend your knees slightly and maybe you already think, oh, this is interesting. I feel my hamstrings on the back of my legs. I do too. We just place the feet maybe a little bit wider than the hips, whatever feels comfortable. And we start to just gently swing from the left to the right. Start to relax your neck, your shoulders again. And it's really a very gentle movement here, just to open up slowly. As long as you can hear yourself breathing in and out. All right. So before we do any twists or any stretches, let's come to the middle, place the hands onto the shins and on an inhale, you gently press your hands in, look forward. And on an exhale, bring your hands to your calves and gently with your knees, maybe slightly bent, bring your forehead towards your knees or shins. Wait with your breath, place your hands on the top and inhale, press, lengthen from the lower back. I'm just going to turn so that you can see it from the side. Exhale, relax your neck, place your hands on the front, inhale. So notice that we integrate a little pause on the top of our breath and at the end of our breath. And that I don't bend my knee or don't stretch my legs completely because I just find that too intense. And I use my intuition to see how far I wanna take this. Breathe in and out. And for the next move, we're going to sit, bend your knees and take your arms up. So pull your navel in and see what you can Instead of pushing the buttocks back, try to flatten the lower back a little bit, okay? engaging your abdominal muscles. And just sit a little bit more into the back, into the heels. Keep pulling the navel in, reach your arms a little bit higher up. And on an exhale, we're going to straighten the legs again. Take the hands behind, interlace the fingers, bring your arms over your heads. And maybe move a little bit from the left to the right with your hands. Just opening up the shoulder girdle, relax your neck, stay here, and nice exhale. Come and sit deep again, take your hands up. And this time we're gonna keep the legs bent and you just brush your hands off towards the side, keep your chest nice and open, breathe in, sit into the heels, take your hands up, pull the navel in, and again, so we're gonna use a bit more of the upper leg muscles and you might feel that they start burning a little bit. This is the last time. So just stay here with your focus and on an inhale, stand up, 
Take your hands over your head. And on the next exhale, just bring them in front of your heart and down. I'm gonna stand a little bit wider. So this is a really nice and gentle morning routine where we just start to swing the arms from the left to the right. You can start tapping on your chest and on the back again. And if you look at my feet, and there's a couple of ways you can do this. With the heel coming up. So if I look to the right, the left heel comes up. If I go to the left, the right heel comes up. And otherwise you can also do it like this. You can just turn to the right and let your right foot come up, stay on the heel. Do it gently. So maybe you have some knee issues that might feel a little bit more intense. As long as you can just follow your own movement, uh, just find your breath. <sighs> All right, slowly coming back to the middle. You can shake your legs out, your hands out. And we're going to shake a little bit. I haven't done this for a while, but it's a really good way to energize yourself and to wake up. So find your own rhythm here and use your breath. That is a really important part of this movement that you breathe in and... <sighs> So maybe close the eyes and just shake and just notice what you feel. You can relax your body, relax your shoulders, all that tension in the shoulders that you want to release. So you can keep your feet flat on the floor. Eh? I'm not jumping like this, but I'm just bending lightly through the knees you can shake your hands out just a little bit longer all right you can slowly come back to the middle and just place your hands on your forehead or maybe on the sides of your head. And we're going to massage the skull. And so through the hair, with your fingertips, just make them soft. But you can press quite firmly hey, into the temple area on the sides of your head. And you can go to the back. There's all these acupressure points on your head. Just give it a nice massage. And with your thumbs on the back, you can make circles around the edge yeah, of your skull where your muscles from your neck attach. Coming towards your ears and just around the ears and then behind your ears as well. You can just circle your fingertips and you can, with your thumb and your index finger, you can hold on to your ear huh? and just do it in any kind of way that you feel like. Just massaging this ear, maybe stick a finger in your ear. I can't do it, I've got my ear pods in. And then with your peace fingers, you're gonna slide to the front and the back of your ear, up and down. Just in a nice, firm way. Just a couple of times. And then bring your finger for, to the forehead. And just massaging all that tension out of your face. Just Maybe starting from the middle where your eyebrows start and just slide it out to the sides. A little bit higher and a little bit higher until you've reached your hairline. And then with your index finger and thumb, again, you can squeeze that, those eyebrows. Yeah? It's also really nice. And then with your index fingers bent, you can just rub the sleep out of your eyes. So especially when you sit behind the computer for a long time, it's really nice to give the eyes a bit more attention, eh? just to rub it. And then underneath your eyes, just slide it to the outside. And again, with your index fingers on with index finger and middle finger, just rub 
both sides of the nose. Maybe squeeze your collarbones, or not collarbones, your cheekbones. Go towards the jaws. And with your fingertips, you can just press into the jaws. So try to relax them. It's another muscle, yeah, the clenching of the jaws when we are working. Sometimes with this massage, we can release a bit more. Maybe you want to open up your mouth and move your jaw from left to right for a second. Pressing your fingers in. Some of you might feel this, that this is hurting a little bit, but that's why I give a little bit more attention to this area. And again, the jaw line with your thumb and index finger, just squeeze it. Take your fingers to the back and on both sides of your surf of your uh, spine, you can just massage those muscles, your neck muscles. Again, take your hands towards your shoulder for a moment, just grab it, squeeze it for a couple of times. And you can repeat this for longer eh, whenever you have time today. I will just give it a nice start. And let's go to the other side as well. All right, shaking it out, take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, open up your chest. And let's take the arms out, inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, round the spine a little bit, hold on to the opposite elbow, take a little forward bend, chin to the chest. Inhale, open up. And exhale, the other hand goes up or above. You hold on to the shoulders again. You bend forward. Or maybe you can't reach for your shoulders, that's fine. You just hold on to the arms. Breathe in one more time. And just let your arms swing. So I'd like to, um, to come to the floor. So if you can see me, maybe you can stay on the balls of your feet for a moment. And it's just to open up the hips. We are going to just move from the left to the right side. So my heels are coming off the floor. So I don't have to be with my feet flat on the mat. And you just move from the left to the right a little bit. And notice what's going on in your hips, your lower back, your buttocks. Maybe you can at one point be with both feet flat on the floor. I know that not everybody can do this. If it's not your cup of tea and just stay with your heels off the floor. It's not that you have a choice, I believe, if you can't sit down, but just moving a little bit here. Maybe you can even bring your hands together and you can press your hands together whilst bringing them a little bit lower in one line with the elbows and lift your chest up. And you can engage your pelvic floor muscles and just pull them up. Stay here. Find your balance. Place your hands on the floor again. You can turn your feet forward. Just find this forward bend again. And we'll stay here for a moment. Relax your shoulders, your neck. Just make a a movement here, yes, no, kind of. Now let's take a moment to stay in this forward bend and just notice what you feel. The sensation, that stretch on your calves, the back of your legs. Can you relax your face and maybe close your eyes? You can relax your jaws, eh? have your mouth slightly open. And then listen to the sound of your breath. A nice, soft, hissing sound. And maybe another cue that might be helpful is with your eyes closed, bring your focus to that spot in between the eyebrows. Might help you to calm down your mind. 
Just a couple more breaths, guys. You're doing great. All right. So bend the left knee. We do this more often. So you probably notice if you join my classes. Bend the left knee, place the left fingertips on the floor, straighten the right leg. Try to bring the right hip up to the ceiling. You can pull your navel in slightly. Maybe open your chest a bit more to the front. Take your right shoulder up. Take the right hand up if you want or place it onto your right buttocks. Pull the navel in, open up your chest, straighten the right leg and engage that right upper leg muscle. Breathe in one more time. Look up to the ceiling if you can. And on the next seal, we bend both knees slightly. We take our right hand to the floor and gently start to lean into the right foot, straighten the left leg. So because it's the first time for this morning, I guess, for this practice at least, do it slowly. Take your left hand up, feel that stretch, breathe into it, engage your left upper leg muscle. And then let's go back and forth a couple of times. So right, left hand goes down, straighten the right leg, right hand goes up, pause your breath on the top, exhale through the nose, gently bend both knees, wait, switch, inhale, left hand goes up, pause on the top, exhale, come down, pause, straighten the right leg, inhale, right hand goes up. Let's do it a couple more times so you really get into it that you don't rush yourself from one side to the other, but you really take your time and make it a graceful movement, slowly coming back. Bend your knees, sit deep, inhale, take your hands up. On the next, still bring your hands in front. We haven't done any twists here, so I was thinking, let's do a twist. Bring the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. So my feet are hip width apart, Maybe you have to bring them a little bit closer together. So make sure that the feet are in one line. Now press that left hand into the right. Notice how your upper body is twisting. So stay here, find your breath. Divide your weights over both feet. So my right elbow is pressing with equal force against my left knee and vice versa. A little bit more twist in the upper body maybe. And a last exhale, we look down. Let's straighten the legs a little bit again and just wait for a moment, yeah? just to give ourselves a little break. Now sit deep again. Inhale, take your hands up. Pull your navel in slightly, take your hands up, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, hands in front. Twist towards the other side. First place the right hand onto the left. The right elbow points straight up to the ceiling. Make sure you divide your weight. Maybe you can press your upper legs out a little bit. Eh? They stay where they are, but it's just that sensation. One more breath here. Exhale, look down. Straighten those legs. Take a moment, maybe breathe out through your nose or through your mouth. On an inhale, come up, swing your arms over your head, strong legs, exhale. Let's shake it out again. I feel a lot of heat coming up. Eh? So we uh, activate the process in our body. So now we just wanna shake it out a little bit more. Now, if you have the opportunity, then come and sit down on the floor. So we do a last movement here, or movement, it's a pose, it's a hip opener in a cross-legged position. So maybe you can take with your hands, your buttocks, move it a little bit further to the back. Maybe you can take both feet underneath the opposite knee. So having done that, Place your hands a bit wider and in front of your legs. On an inhale, open up your chest, look forward. Now stay on the fingertips. Exhale, slowly come forward. Relax your neck, your shoulders. Inhale, 
slowly come up. And exhale, slowly come down, stay on the fingertips. This is the last pose, guys. So you just breathe in, look forward once more, and then place your hands in front of you. And don't worry, this is all about using your intuition again. You only go as much forward as feels good. And maybe you will be able to come a little bit further forward after a couple of breaths. But just notice what you feel, whether you can relax all the muscles that you don't need at this moment. Your neck, your shoulders, your face. Find your breath again. Listen to the sound of it. And observe what is happening inside of you, outside of you, and become aware again. Just notice sounds that might ask your attention, but without trying to analyze what you hear, you just notice a sound that comes and goes. You might feel a physical sensation, which is also coming and going. Maybe thoughts arise, things that you have done, that you are thinking about, that you need to do, that maybe worry you or ask your attention. You just take a step back. Just see it as thoughts that come and go. Relax your jaws, your lips, your tongue. And even if you would sit on a chair you can do this, eh? this kind of scanning of the body, of the sensations, physical, mental. Maybe it triggers an emotion, which is also just what it is for now. For the last so many breaths, let's do it in silence. Try not to think of the last breath, just be in the moment. Can you come a little bit further forwards? Can you find that focus in between your eyebrows? And slowly can come up again. Keep your eyes closed for just a little bit longer. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Deep sigh out through the mouth. If you want, you can place your hands in front of your heart and take a little bow forwards. Just thank yourself for joining this practice. Slowly coming back up. I wish you a very nice day, guys. Namaste and see you next time.